Hey, we're not gonna get everything in one possession. Take your time, all right? Take your time. Hey, it's a run. It's a run, that's all. All right, let's go, stay together. Hey, defense all three, one, two, three. Defense. My name is John Awoke. Uh, I'm from Strawberry Square in Austin, all part. On Hayfield basketball team, I play point guard and shooting guard. Uh, John's role on the team is to pick up 94 feet, uh, guard some of the better uh, perimeter players. Because he's a very good on ball defender, uh, does a good job in the full court, uh, turning guys and, and uh, speeding them up and making them you know, get uncomfortable and do things that they don't want to do. Uh, and on offense, he, he's to uh, take advantage of the opportunities that he gets and, uh, you know, hit hit wide open shots and, and just make basketball plays. John presents problems just because he's a he's a tough matchup. So you got to pick and choose which, which you want to take away from him. The game is all about mismatches and John has a unique skill set where he can create mismatches uh, for himself and drawing the defense and then kicking it out to, to guys for shots because people got to help. Um, I always said John looks to me like a uh, like a CJ McCollum, and that's another guy that can score at all three levels. They both you know do a great job of just taking their time and getting what they want offensively and getting the best shot for themselves or their teammates. John is a very reserved kid, doesn't talk too much, you know, stays to himself for the most part. You know, he, he, he chills with the guys, but he doesn't do a lot a lot of extra talking. But when he gets on the court, you know, you, you can see that he turns it on to another level. As far as like in our conference, man, it's always us and Edison. Uh, Edison's definitely been our biggest competition, our, our biggest rivalry. We're right down the street from each other, you know, five minutes away. We know, you know, who we're playing. We know the fans. We know all the parents from like both sides of the gym. So whenever Edison and Hayfield play, you know it's going to be a big crowd. It's called the Burbo. You always want to win the Burbo. Oh man, it's like a playoff atmosphere. You know, when we play at Hayfield, you know, the gym is, is packed. And then when we go to Edison, Edison's a smaller gym, but it's, you know, standing room only when we're there. Just a great environment for, for the kids to play in. Man, since I've gotten the job, uh, there was a guy named Terry Henderson. Uh, he's been, he was coaching there for what, 10 years? He ended up resigning. So uh, they brought in a young dude named uh, Trey Ford. They've been playing extremely well under, under his tutelage. They're very defensively focused. Um, and then I feel like they do a great job of sharing the basketball too. So you really can't key in on just one player. They got a big dude in, in the middle named Nader, who uh, last year was um, Defensive Player of the Year. My greatest concern is that the players will play to the crowd versus playing for each other. Our, our Hayfield players, like they're they're definitely amped up, hyped up for that game. Um, like I said, it's a backdoor rivalry, so you know they're just Hayfield's just really excited to play against Edison any any time we get a chance to play against them. I actually spent two years at Andrew High School. Uh, my freshman year was kind of rough, but it was a good year for me, like personally, with the achievements and stuff that I earned. Our sophomore year as a team, we was a lot better, and we had a good record. The COVID year, we was like 12 and three. Some of the issues I was having with Andrew, I felt like I wasn't really getting pushed as hard as I should, because the schedule we had wasn't really the toughest. So I felt like I should have went somewhere with a tougher schedule.
When I made the transition from Anando to NCA, I didn't like it was a new change. I didn't I didn't want to do it like especially leaving my friends and leaving somewhere I was comfortable. When I got to NCA, my first setback was when I had my ankle injury. I had like a high ankle sprain. I was out for like three months, and it was at a critical point of the season. That kind of threw off a lot of stuff. Like during the beginning of the season, I was kind of getting jealous, like watching everybody else play. Like just wanted to be on the floor. All right, we got this starting lineup. Uh, Ruben, point guard, you're starting on him. Sure. Donnie, he's a driver. He wants to get paint touches. He loves the floater. He will find his teammates um, in the open spots if we let him get paint touches all day. Pick him up at the three-point line. We do not need to be pressuring in full court. Therefore, you got to sprint back every single possession. Shooting guard, John, score driver. Pick him up at the three-point line. He gets to his spots. Yes, he does. He has a slow game. It's like an old man. He has an old man's game. But he gets to his spots, and he can get there. Um, we gotta defend him, he's a good player. Uh, DJ is guarding DJ. He's hands down their best player to me in my opinion. He does not have a full ride to go D2 for no reason. Show him why you should have a D2 full ride right now. Greg, where are you starting on Greg? He's a driver, he loves the mid-range pull-up. Let's make sure that we contest that every single, where's Will? Let's make sure we contest that every single time like we saw Anandel doing on film. Senator David King, this team is nothing without this guy. Now that you gotta step up to the challenge today. Yeah, it's working. Let's do this. Hey, let's go together on three. Five, five, six, one, two, three. Yeah. Hey, hey, fellas, please show out. All right, please show out. Play the right way. Play smart. Play aggressive. And get these diamonds out the way. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. First game against Edison, it was, you know, it was a crazy atmosphere. Again, you know, it's hate for Edison, so everybody's gonna show up for those games. You know, we had played some games already prior to it that was, you know, high energy, but it's a little different when it's your rival. I want our guys to go out there and compete and play at a high level and uh, and put on a show while doing while doing that. This was also the first time that we were playing against uh, Trey Ford and his team. Like so, a little bit different team, you know, different style from what we had seen last year. First half of the game, I felt like it was okay. Like we didn't shoot the ball extremely well, but uh, I think we played, you know, we played well enough to go into going to halftime with a solid lead. They were well prepared for, you know, the style that we were going to play, and uh, they were able to keep up with us for sure in the first half. Like they weren't scared. They were right up in our chest, you know, defensively. They didn't back down from us. You know, sometimes when, when we make a run, teams can, you know, just get scared and, and kind of hang it up. But they didn't. They stayed right there, kept fighting, and then they, they threw their own punches back. I feel like in the second half, we didn't play well. You know, we got a little lackadaisical, uh, wasn't playing the defense that we've been accustomed to playing, and, um, and, and shots wasn't going there. So, you know, you add all those things up, it ends up being a close game. Like, as a team, sometimes you have to like step on the team's throat, if that makes sense. You know, once you knock them down, you can't let them get back up. And we allowed them to get back up. And to their credit, the way, you know, their coaching staff is over there at Edison, they weren't gonna allow them to, you know, just get knocked down and not get back up. Get to the basket, attack storm, make contact and let's go, we're here. Wait, hey. how, how you in the race? You, you in the middle, wow. and then figure it out. But listen, on, um, on offense, two game or pop. Two game or pop. All right, two game or pop. Let's go. Defense on three. One, two, three. Defense. For us, as a team, we just had to learn how to, you know, keep a team down when we had them down. But for the most part, it was, it was an ugly game, and I was happy that we got out there with a W. Thank you.
I talk to him like this too. Just the composure thing. Yeah. And talking and like play. Yeah. We're doing more talking to them than we are talking to our own teammates. Yeah. Number one, in the second half, y'all did more talking to the other team than y'all did your own team. And that's straight up. Y'all did more talking to the other guys than y'all did communicating with y'all with y'all with, with each other. And that's terrible. That's terrible. All the way around. That's not that's not how we play basketball. I always talk to y'all about being respectful. You could be you could be assholes by busting their ass. You could be it by that way. Not by talking to them, not by picking fights, not by any of those things. If you make a good play, yes, make a good play, you do those things, but we're doing unnecessary shit. For no reason. We've been up the whole game. You, Greg, you're lucky you didn't get thrown out the game because it happened four times. Just on you. And I'm not even talking about everybody else. You got to stop doing that shit. You're going to fucking hurt the team one time. They was playing team ball. They were making an extra pass. They stayed within themselves. We didn't. Count your blessings, y'all won. Count your blessings. Because that definitely should have been an L. And I wish it would have happened. Truthfully, I wish it would have happened. But y'all not really, y'all truly not gonna learn until the shit happens. You're not. That's bullshit. What we did out there, the game that we displayed, everything that y'all put out there on the court was bullshit all the way around. Be grateful that DJ was hitting shots today. Be, <laughs> be grateful that DJ was hitting shots today. If DJ wasn't hitting shots today, we'd be, we would have been out here with a 10 point loss. But I'm glad we have a good team and, peop and people can step up and make plays when we're not at our best. When I actually got to play at NCAA, I'm not going to lie, I was definitely up and down year. Like, I had I had some games where I played well, I had some games where I played bad, I had some games where I played in between, but it was definitely like a roller coaster type of year. I decided to enroll at Hayfield because I was living at my uncle's house and it was becoming a difficult task for me to drive to Maryland early day to attend school. One of the players said, hey, look, I think John Awoke is about to enroll at Hayfield High School, but there were some administrative issues that he had to address as far as his, his status as a student. We were told that the athletic department was working alongside the administrative office to determine what those issues were and to see if they could be addressed before the season started. I was kind of scared because the days was counting down and we was like in late August and I didn't start school on time. I didn't really think it would work out because time was running out. I think it was a breakdown of communication. You know, I think there was a disconnect, nothing intentional, but I just thought that there was communication gaps which probably prolonged the process of him being, being clear. I got a call and they said that I had to go meet with some people and then when I met with them, they said I couldn't play and I wasn't eligible. You know, definitely a little disappointed, um, you know, for, for him. And and we would just, at that point, we were like, okay, maybe he'll go through the appeal process and we'll see how things go. But we knew as a team, we had to move on. Sessions, we do not get stops. We gotta get stops. Close the game out. All right, stop over gambling. Stay solid. Let's get a stop right here. Finish the game. The second game against Edison, we just we played we played much better. Um, and to David King's credit, uh, he had a he had a pretty pretty good game. 19 points, 75 percent from the field. Um, DJ had another great game, scoring 20 points, shot the ball well. It was just like a good all around game from from everybody. But uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we if we saw Edison again. Like I said, they're they're a great team over there, great coaching staff. It was just like we're battling for that number one spot, so you know, wouldn't have been surprised.
three. One, two, three. Wait. Let's hit. Let's hit first. Let's hit first and see if they hit back. They ain't been hit first before. That's the part. That's why they lost one game. They haven't been hit first before yet. They always throw the first punch and everybody knocks the f out. Let's not knock the f out today. Let's get the f back up and fight back. Y'all understand me? Take your time, all right? Take your time. Let's get some movement, all right? Get some movement, all right? You can't just go one-on-one. -on -one. Set good screens, execute. And then on defense, you gotta fight through. Hey, it's a run. It's a run, that's all. All right, let's go, stay together. Hey, defense all three, one, two, three, defense. In the first game of the season, you just playing a game. This, you have something riding on it, so uh, our guys are probably a little bit more uptight. And that, in those particular moments, you don't want to yell or playing at them. Good teams are going to go on runs. It's going to happen. Now, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do next? For whatever reason, versus Edison in our third quarters, we, we haven't been playing uh, well in the third quarters. We've been through this many, many of times before. So let's, let's, let's regroup. Let's run whatever set that we about to run. And then let's uh let's finish the game out. Once we were able to regroup and get composure of our team, and our guys got composure themselves, and they and they regrouped amongst themselves, uh, I think we were fine. Man, just had to make free throws down the stretch. I think that was the biggest thing. Edison was getting harder and harder to close out, and you know that if he gets a regional championship, that that game is going to be tough. You know, we cheered for about a hot second, but now it's very, you know, our minds is, is, is focused on who we're going to play in the regional championship because now it's the title run. When I found out I was able to play, I was excited. Personally, I was elated, you know, because it went through there for about a month or so, man. And then, you know, to see that everything worked out for him, I was like, thank God, praise God that everything worked out for him. So we were very excited about having him back on the team, but we also knew it was going to be a transition for him. It was basically like a restart bun because like, I had to learn the plays while everybody else did. The chemistry had to be there because they had been playing so many games already without me and practicing without me. I didn't want to come in coming in and ruin anything that they had going on. We knew it was going to take him a minute to kind of get up to speed, and as expected, it did. With missing all the time that I missed, I felt like I had a hard time like trying to figure out my, what my role was on the team, and I didn't want to come in there and do too much. It, it took him a while, um, but he continued to work hard. You know, he asked questions. He was like, look, you know, I know I've been out for a while. I'm willing to learn. I want to get up to speed as quickly as I can. My first couple games overall was nothing like how I expected or wanted or should have been. You know, on this team, you know, we had so many guys um, that can score. Um, the great thing is we don't, they don't really care who scores. I think for him, it might have been a little different. He's probably more accustomed to having the ball in his hand a lot more prior to him coming to Hayfield. We could start to see him, you know, improving on the offensive end. Although he wasn't scoring a lot, but he was being a lot more aggressive and looking for a shot. When playoffs came, I knew I had to step it up and start playing for real. In the Fairfax game is when we saw him really step up offensively. Fairfax game was when people start seeing how I how I really play. You know, he was guarding their best player. So, um, our guy is obviously a first team all state. You know, really tough guy to guard. Very skilled. I think we think John did a great job on him, and um, that was a great game for, for John. I think he had established himself. But if you talk to John, he'll probably say, "I know I can do more." You know, and we love that about players. You know, even when you when you're playing well and you think you can play even better, hey, that's 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 a great attitude to have. You think about leading up into that regional championship game that, you know, we got through the gauntlet of, of playing versus all the Patriot District teams, and now we got to go against our, our crosstown rival in Edison for a fourth time. Even though the game was a home game, I felt like it was a neutral, a neutral floor as far as the amount of fans. We had a lot of fans, they had a lot of fans, and there was a bunch of people there to see us lose. And, um, you know, we had to shut them up one more time.
feel like we're fine, man. We haven't really pressed. We pressed one time, all right? Only one time. And and the dude traveled and we didn't get the call, but we, I still feel like we're fine. Hey, you know how what happened last last third quarter? We're making sure that that does not happen today. All right, we eat from from, from start, all right? From start to finish. Hey, second half, baby. Hey, we are halfway from winning the championship. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. forth throughout the whole game and I was happy that you know we were able to three P. We three P on the district championship uh, and we three P on a regional championship. And now that we won the we won both of those championships now it's going to go to the uh, st state tournament and, and and finish the job. It's on y'all now. Let's go get that last crack at it. That's what I told you. It's on y'all now. Some of our most talented players that that's the only game that's the only one. Oh if we played Esther for a fifth time the fit time was gonna be the worst time we played them. I think it was gonna be bad the fit time. It was gonna be yeah. bad for who? Bad for Edison, bro. Cut. 